Oh, here it is. Praxis Precipice. Are on episode. This is. Uh, those of you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so we are now, uh, I think this. Having like full five bonus episodes plus uh, the one shot. We're well over 40 episodes. Jumped into the uh, marathon this week, and we really that. That was well, I got to see a lot of people I hadn't seen for a while kind of jump for different. Those of you that gave me rank, I was literally watching one. Marathon was a lot of fun. It was also a good challenge for me from tech angle. Trying to like have a five year old laptop. <laughs> Held up, man. 5% error 87 hour though. Good for you, sir. Now go back in the box I keep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that was cool. So but thank you for those that honestly have fucked the heart. Uh, we have a, a lot more coming up. I'll say that. Like, uh, first read. Yeah, those of you that Wow. Keep, if that's considered a stream, than that, but... Those, uh, it could be whatever you want it to be. Sure, true, true. the stream of Versary of Abrax's Precipice. Uh, yeah. Not my stream of Abrax's Precipice. <laughs> Everybody's. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and... Look in. Very expensive. By Green Publishing. Actual play of it. Um, have a... Night for our... Uh, don't hate them. They Woo! have sent them up. Yes. They're giving out this one. Here, and we have a little miniature that's a little dragon wizard. And we're going to close out tonight. Uh, nice. We have four giveaways next week. Tonight. And tonight's button, button, and don't hate them. And into it. It's gotta mean something. <laughs> God, there's, there's gotta I'm, be something I'm gonna work there. it in. I'm gonna work it in the, <laughs> the somehow. Somehow. Listen, Waxer was in a mining place. Yeah. There's rocks there. I felt mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, so that uh put in Stonehaven to the chat tonight and you'll be Uh, and I actually, they said there's more stuff, and I'll, I'll make that through. Our... Uh, next up, uh, a goal. Our goal is get a hundred subs on my channel here. Off you, goal. Uh, but I am uh, hoping to get that. There's started. Nice. Uh, should we hit yeah. our goal? Copy of the. Very nice. I'll love it. I'll do it now. Uh, it's a lot. I know it's a, lot, it's a big ask, but it's a, it's a kick ass prize, dude. Maybe yeah. 100. That one, too. But we're, we're doing pretty good. One of, my, one of my buddies came in and loves during marathon. So it's kind of cool. I was just seeing a little piece of. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I really. It's a lot. Uh, um, we have our Patreon there. Uh, Patreon. Awesome. is I show up what we're doing ahead of time, what we're working on. They got a re they got our big announcement. I'm so. Okay. Uh, that's the place to go and check that out. Um, and then that's uh, about it, guys. Up here, so.
welcome to Abrax Press Press. Hopefully I sound better. I got told I sounded I sounded rough. That's okay that that happens. Uh, so last we left off, the crew had dropped one Yaki Butenko off of the the edge of Luna, uh, having rescued him, and now uh, kind of floating around Luna, uh, up to your own devices. Um, where to go, what to do, kind of up to you. But uh, a lot of you have put in kind of inquiries to have different, um, we'll say little seeds you've planted around the solar system. And some responses have come back in, some messages have come back in, uh, checking the queue. Uh, unless Myrtle or Wyatt have locked down the comms again, as they are wont to do, Do you want to let these messages through to people? Um, yeah, oh. I would be good with that. All if right. XO is good, I don't see any reason right. why not. Yeah, I'm good with it. All right. Who wants to check their messages first? I'll check mine. Okay. Why you you've been um, what was some of the things you put out? If I remember offhand. Oh, you were checking for Jackrabbit. Yeah. That um, was it. Do you go back and you check? You know, you check your your. You and you got nothing from Jackrabbit. Uh, nothing there. Last you heard, uh, I mean, they're alive, but they're doing something. They can't say much. Um, so that's kind of a that's still kind of a worry. But uh, you know, uh, that stuff there. You got a few things uh, here and there from Palace Station. Um, it looks like uh, Anisect, even though with your with your past indiscretions with them, they might kind of want you back there. Uh, they're a little little short on uh, security agents uh, to function on Palace and they would, you know, your known quantity, um, maybe get you back on the on board after a year and a half or so. Um, stuff like that's kind of come through, but nothing really, like, distinct. Um, Just a bunch of spam messages. A bunch of spam messages, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you kind of kept yourself. Uh, you do get a message from uh, the support group organization on Siri Station that you had met uh, Zenny through and has gone to the once, kind of asking if you're gonna come back, checking in on you, how you how you handling your your trauma, stuff like that. Um, you know, they're they're just kind of checking in. Uh, you're welcome to like shoot them a thing back, say let them know if you're good or not, or what you want to say to them. I'm just not gonna say anything back right now. All right, cool. Keep uh keep the silence. Not a bad move. Anyone else want to check messages? Yep. All right, Myrtle, you got a lot. Uh, <laughs> you, you got a lot. Uh. You, you come and you like, like you hadn't checked for like a day or two, uh, trying to get the, the Botanko thing taken care of, uh, which you did aptly, but uh, you have like, probably like two dozen messages from your wife, uh, Sabella. Uh-oh. Do you want, um, you kind of dig through a little bit here and uh, you're kind of seeing like the headers on them and you can, you can, you can kind of see the escalation uh, in her, um, yeah. Uh, I have a teal deer on this one. <laughs> what's up? Too long. Oh, I have a yeah, teal I, deer on this one. Yeah, I can give, I can give it to long. Didn't read. Yeah. Um, you, you, the, the initially they're kind of like, what's going on? I thought you were just doing a job on, on Tycho. Uh, I just got a notification that the ship's like on Hygieia. Why the hell is the ship on Hygieia? Um, you know, uh, what the hell is this huge repair bill from Hygieia? Um, like, I mean, it, it's, it's like very, uh, combination distraught, we'll say, uh, stressed and accusatory, uh, like wanting to know what is going on, why the ship be like, basically it looks like, looks like she's like following the ship's registry where it's being picked up from. Um, and because of her quasi ownership of the ship uh it, she's able to kind of do this to some degree right 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 but and, it, and it's getting very uh like we can't afford this like better come back with like a like did you earn anything because i didn't see anything show up in like the bank account you know stuff like that yeah uh, well okay I'll, I'll hold that right now while we're just kind of around <laughs> just to, to take care of that later <laughs> Oh, no, oh, no. What? No, nothing. Nothing. Oh, nothing important. That. 
boring conversation anyways. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, it, it's, uh, the, so there, you, you read, you didn't, like, listen to the audio, you kind of read the transcription, and the transcription is indicating that there's, like, yelling at points, um, that there's, there's definitely aggressive tone, we'll say, uh, with this. Okie dokie. Um, and, but you do have one message that pops in um, in your little special folder that says it's from the office, the office of the governor of Ceres. Okay. And it looks like a message from uh, Anderson Dawes. A uh, very disclaimed, um, very interested in when you're going to be back on Ceres. Anticipated arrival of series. Okay. Um, I'll put, put a pin in that right now to okay. respond to him as soon as I'm done checking my mail. And it's got like the official logo and shit. It's not. It's not right. someone saying like you know I'm, I'm a prince from series and I'm in financial trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the office of the governor. You know? <laughs> There's a series prince that needs to do it. this. This blue gorilla wants to know my social security number. <laughs> You know, while uh, you're at it, yeah, you're have at you it. checked about your ship's uh, warranty? Yeah, go, <laughs> yeah, go, extended go. warranty here? Turns out Samela knows a lot about identity theft now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, so yeah, you, you have a you have a nice little message there asking when you're going to get back to series. Um, it is kind of mark sensitive, like, but they're not asking you for anything that wouldn't be public knowledge, basically, like when you would right, get right, back, right. like when you would board. So, um, so when to look out for you. Um, we got Waxer, we got Zenny messages. I feel like uh, Waxer don't really get any messages. <laughs> Off the grid, man. Okay, yeah. no, it's, it's your hard guy to get contact to. Yeah, you, know, yeah. You, uh, you, you bought an extended warranty once and you never you never will again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, got yeah. out of the game, yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, Waxer, you got like, you kind of open up and it, it's like the same crap you always Zenny, you got a few messages. Uh, from a variety. I love variety. A variety. Um, <laughs> the uh, all the records on my, my record collection are all various artists. Um, but uh, no, you you uh, you see that one. You have one um, from uh, Doctor Marv de Valentine. Oh. Uh, basically saying I got the results. Sounds. I'm realizing it sounds really bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, you have another one. Um, from uh, it looks like some sort of like it's like a generic number terminal. You're not sure if it's spam or not. Um, but it looks like a bounce, like kind of a, like a. It doesn't look like any like some spam message. You're not really sure yet though or not. Uh, you'd have to open it. Um, and I'm trying to remember what another feeler you threw out there. Uh, I think those are the I think those are the two big ones. Yeah. Because you didn't, that's right, because you didn't have direct communication with the only one on Mars, okay. So yeah, those are the two ones you have uh, right now. Um, okay. Two, well, I'll open, I'll, I'll cautiously open the spam one first, crossing my fingers and toes, <laughs> but not being too hopeful um, as to what I'm going to find there. It looks like it's come off of a, like a public terminal. Um, so like the number on it is just like, it's like a public uh Terminal number, so it's something you could actually like. You could literally find this terminal if you wanted to. It's just sitting like in like you know like by like a dock or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it. Do you want to pull up the audio, the video? It has a video message, but there's like you can have it transcribed, or you can listen to the audio or watch the video, or what do you want? Um, I'll listen and watch to it. Sure, why not? Okay. I'll pull up video and audio. Uh, uh second. One. So you, you go up and um, uh, you pull it up and you see what looks to be a familiar face on a dock. Um, and it looks to be your brother. <laughs> uh, you, I say you still want to keep on watching? Oh, a, a, a thousand percent, yes. So it's, <laughs> this is who I hoped it's, it was, it's, it's not but like also labeled. didn't think it was going to happen. <laughs> it's it's not labeled, like, it's not labeled Yan, uh, Hazal, or anything yeah. like that. It's just, like, a generic thing. Um, he kind of has, like, some, like, kind of, uh, he doesn't, it's not tattoos on his face, but he has, like, kind of, like, grease on his face. 
Um, you've seen this tactic before. Actually, make a security check for me. Full security. I feel like, I feel dang, like dang, it's dang, dice. They need roll dice. There you, John. <laughs> 70 dice and you expect me to use them? <laughs> <laughs> 11. Uh, okay, 11. Five on the drama. Five on the drama? Okay. Um, yeah, you, he looks like he's like kind of greased up a little bit. Like you're not sure if he's been working or like what. Um, mm -hmm. But like he's got like like almost like paint. you're not sure if it's paint or grease or like makeup or what it is. There's nothing you ever saw him wear when he when he was around. Definitely not him. Um, but uh, yeah, he's sitting there and he's going. He's going. Hey, is any uh, you know that quick moment here to drop in? I know you've been worried. Uh, look, I'm I'm okay. We're doing okay. Uh, so that's why I want you to read about me. And, and, but, uh, we're gonna make. I'm gonna make a big difference. You gotta make you proud. Uh, we got big things in the works right now. Just, uh, uh, but I can't. I can't stay much longer. But look, I love you. I'm, I'm a series. I can't wait to come back. Uh, when I come back, I guarantee you're, you're gonna all of, all of series is gonna welcome us. Yeah, yeah. I, I, okay, I gotta go. Okay, and he clicks off. Sunny just like sighs like really heavily. <laughs> uh, and we'll rewatch it a couple of times and try to uh, try to really just really going over everything that he's wearing. Um, like he, I could find this particular like you said, I could find this terminal pretty easily, yeah. but like specifically with like trying to figure out any clues as to where he might be going or if i see like anyone you know if it's a, a video if any there's anyone like around um so basically just scrubbing the entire footage as much sure. as i can just to get any information i can um make a Uh, empathy, obviously. Empathy, obviously, yeah. I'm trying to empathize with this video. Do you not watch film? I don't watch movies. I watch film, and I empathize with them. Um, <laughs> you are... <laughs> I would say, um, yeah, this would be... This would be... Uh, this, this might be security. Um, okay. But you also know you have another person on board that's pretty good at this, which is Wyatt. I'm just saying, you got like you oh. have a resource there who's pretty good at security uh, and like looking for people. He has a pass of the investigator. Okay. Yeah, I think um, I think Zenny will will give it a good like a look through once or twice, mm -hmm. and then we'll have that thought, um, and we'll uh, head over to wherever uh, wherever Wyatt is. Um, and, uh, and say, uh, hey, uh, I, uh, I got a message from, uh, from my brother, and, uh, uh, I, I know it's, it's a, it's a long shot, but, uh, could you help me, uh, I just want to see if there's any, um, anything that we can pick out to see where, where he might be going, uh, who he might actually be with. Or, or anything. I mean, if you got if you got time, I know uh, you, XO, you're busy. Oh, I got I got plenty of time. I'd be more than happy to give it a look and see what I can figure out. Okay, and I'll like put it on whatever closest yeah, terminal you, is to wherever we are. And yeah, you can share it to you can share it to his terminal directly if you want. If you don't want to put it on like, a big screen or something. But yeah, you get the you get the thing wide and uh, give me a give me a security chest off the bat. <laughs> I never rolled for mine. Can I roll for mine? Or I can I give like, I him rolls. assistance? I haven't, I haven't, d not the second time. Oh, I mean, this this is the first thing that you, what'd you get? 20 with double sixes. Very nice. Yeah, what? <laughs> so you look, you look at this kid nice. and you're like, you're kind of like, oh, doing that trick. Um, you look at the, the makeup and like, you know that this is like, uh, kind of a makeup uh, effect to try to fool like facial recognition technology. Try not to be tracked. Yeah, I'll explain that to you. Which I would assume you would already kind of understand that. Don't I feel like after you like say it, I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I haven't thought about it in a while, but yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> it's your brother, you know. You just yeah. you, 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 you doesn't want to be found. Yeah. yeah. Um, you kind of watch, yeah, but you, that's the first thing that's just like stands out to you immediately. Um, uh, both of you, yeah, can make another security check, just kind of like to see, like, 
while you watch the video, if there's anything you can notice. Excellent. 18. What'd you get on the drama die? 17. Three. That's good. What you got? What'd you, what'd you get on the drama die there? Uh, I mean, I got a four on the drama die. Remember, if you get that six on the drama die, you gotta tell me. I have Fair a <laughs> Always. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, okay. So you, you kind of watch through it and like, it's just dock work. It, it's definitely um, uh, best. Uh, it's, you know, this is a station that's kind of known for, um, that has kind of a history with the war, uh, the Cold War between the UN and the MCR. Um, and it's just kind of like, a, um, there's some builders that are more, the builders seem there seem like what you're guessing right now, especially with the way that like the war has kind of gone, they're more active there than they have been. Um, uh, they're, they're able to be more active, basically. There's less of a crackdown, there's less soldiers, there's less presence, all that kind of stuff to you. Um, so if someone were to like try to like go there and get out, this would be their best time to do it. Um, so they might have been trying to get something there or uh, refueling, get some repairs on the ship. There's all kinds of things that can happen in Vesta. I mean, Vesta is the second, I believe it's the uh, second most massive asteroid in the built after series. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but you're watching the people move around. You do hear on it, like him talk, like like someone kind of yell for him. Um, they don't say his name, but they kind of yell. On it. It's a, but it's it's kind of a little quip. I mean, it's just like someone, hey, you know, whatever. Like you're not going to be able to like find out who this person's voice is or anything. Like that. It's not enough dialogue. To even, not to mention the computers here are, on the ship aren't specialized enough. But I mean, it, you know, it was it's, it's him. If it's any selling, it's him. It's him. But what are you looking for here? Like, what are you, exactly are you trying to find out? I don't know. I yeah. I, I don't know. I just part of me thinks if I, if <clears throat> if we can if I can find him, if I can get to him. Then I can actually, maybe, I don't know, get him out of the situation and then maybe talk some sense into him. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. How long has he been doing this now? How long has he been gone? It's been like, uh, pretty much like, like maybe like a month before you met this crew. Yeah. It's been, I think that's like in game time has been like, what would you guys say? Like, like two, three months? Month maybe. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, so there, there is a chance you could convince him, but the longer he's there, the less chance you're going to have. Yeah, no. You, all you got to do is just, you know, me and the cap, we'll help you the best we can, but you got to you know, just let us know what you need. I just, it... He's with the Naros. I don't know what they're. I don't know what they're doing. They keep everything so. They're just so wild and and and, and unpredictable and secret. And it's just, you know, I it's. I I, I want to find him. I, I I don't want him to get, you know, caught in another firefight like he was with us. You really don't want to have to shoot him again. I don't think that's. Yeah, that would be good. I would. I don't. I don't want to have to do that either. <laughs> but uh, I just don't know where. I don't. I. I'm usually the. I'm. I'm usually the one who's finding people, and you know, it's 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 weird to not be able to find the one other person I kind of care about. Really understand. We'll, uh, we'll help you, though. Just talk to the cap a little bit. She's good. And she's smart. Yeah. Yeah, uh, thanks. thanks for your help. You're welcome. If you have anything else, just, just find me. I'm usually in the mess hall eating burritos, so it's not too hard to find me. <laughs> Uh, I'll, uh, I'll head back and, and check on the, the message that I got from, uh, Dr. Balmatine. So it comes up and it's, it's basically like, like kind of like a report. Uh, he goes through and basically says, Hey, I got that, uh, 
I got that analysis, those results back from the, the core that you uh, sent me. Um, and it, he's like, just get ready. It's, and it gets into kind of a detailed uh, thing. Uh, do you want to read his like abstract of it, basically? Sure. Basically, he says, he says like, it looks like the firmware for the reactor got rewritten and it kept on trying to overload the core or cause a, a catastrophic failure of the magnetic bottle. Um, like repeatedly and the AI, the system was able to compensate for repeatedly and that's the only reason it delayed it so long. Otherwise, you guys would have been gone in less than a second. Uh, you guys got lucky, saying. Um, he, he's basically saying code like that doesn't just pop up. Someone had to like have direct access to the reactor core. And uh, he's like, stuff like this is not... This is borderline military. This is military grade stuff. This is not like, yeah. So whoever did this knew what they were doing. Like I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how they did it, but I know what they did. Does that make sense? Yeah. And he has like a whole like diet, like, and then the rest of it is like you know, equations and numbers and, and readouts and analysis, right. and it's it's yeah, it's it's a lot of like you know, techno babble, um, but yeah. Uh, you're, wel you're welcome to hold on to that as best you can. But basically, he's saying he can't. Whatever was done, it, it whatever it did, he can't repeat it. He can't figure out how they did it exactly. Okay. But you also um, be dead. That's that, 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 that's the thesis. Yeah, that's what I'm taking. That's what I'm also taking away from this. Is that ah, oh, we should not exist anymore. Okay, cool. In, in, in this essay, I would like to explain to you why you <laughs> ought to be dead. This is this is <laughs> my. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED talk. I um would I'll, I'll I mean I'll I'm, I was gonna go talk to the captain anyway. I'll go and share this finding with the captain. All right. <laughs> what's she up to? What do you, what do you, where where does uh, Zenny find you? Yeah. Um, I'm just went to go get a cup of coffee. Okay. So uh, I'm headed to the mess. Everyone's in the mess hall. Okay. Everyone's a mess. Hey, everybody. Look, look, you can get the mess hall is great on the ship because it's where the food is, it's where the med bay is, and it's where all the guns are. How can you oh, lose? Oh, that's so great. I love this. All the same floor. Yeah. One stop and all shop. the gossip. All the gossip. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's, it's like the convenience store. It's like the Seven Eleven of the ship. Uh, <laughs> like it. <laughs> it's like uh um. So while I have everybody here, um. So I want to talk to you a little bit uh, real quick about our next next thing to do. I got a message from Dawes and he wonders when we're coming back. So it looks like we're going to have some more work coming up. If that uh, sounds good to you, I'd like to head home to series and, um, you know, touch base in our shop and then see what's heading up. Uh, what he needs us for. Maybe we've got another another run to go out to Tyco or who knows where we'd be going but it should be good for some money so what do you think yeah yeah series station again I like it sweet sweet are you, are you gonna have a good time while you're there or are you gonna be getting yelled at a lot um hopefully well <laughs> probably both but uh, you know why not both but uh yeah, maybe not so much on the party in this time, but we'll, we'll see. I'll make sure um, we uh, kind of let you have your time to deal with that, and I'll keep everybody. Okay, I appreciate busy. that. I really, really do. I so like nudge, I nudge with Michael's like, oh yeah, cat boy, she's in trouble. Like we're just all. <laughs> hey man, he's all. He's all. He's like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, I don't know if I ever told you, actually, I was married once. Can you believe it? <laughs> I, can't, I cannot. I cannot. You gotta tell me that story. Like, he's, and you guys are like in like the cargo hold. He's like smoking a joint. He's like, yeah, man. I know. I didn't laugh. Obviously, that's okay, man. But like, um, yeah. He's like, I, you know, there's a reason why I prefer to work on a ship. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a little. <laughs> yeah. You gotta so tell me who this crazy Koyo was. <laughs> oh man. I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about it one day, man. I mean, uh, you're gonna have to. You have to get some. You kind of look at the joint. You have to get something better than this. Yeah. <laughs> you just stuck in joints everywhere. No, in the cargo yeah. hold where you told me you could. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's like he's he's above the board. You you guys told him to smoke only the cargo hold. The cargo hold is the only place to smoke on the on the ship. I hope we yeah. have a guest who comes on and, and plays McMichael's. Uh... Oh my gosh! Imagine. No one, imagine. No one, that would be so good. No one could ever meet 
the the, the aura of what we just have defined as McMichaels. <laughs> yeah, just to find someone. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to. I don't know. I, I that's an interesting casting. I'd have to. I'd have yeah. to. Like, <laughs> I'd, have to I'd have to look inwardly to think who could do that. Um, but yeah, you know, he's just like, yeah, he's kind of laughing about. It. He's like, yeah, I, I trust me. He's like, trust me, the captain. Be in for it. <laughs> no one's kind of his attitude. <laughs> um, and then, so, um, but yeah, you. No. Uh, you hold on, Myrtle. Oh, uh, and uh, XO, I got something else I want to talk to you about a little bit later when you have some time. But uh, how's everybody doing? Is everybody kind of ready to head on our journey? Do you want to stay here a little bit or what? Ready to ship off, Cap. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm good to go. Um, I got a, a message, though, that I think everybody should, uh, well, at least the, you know, the, the Captain and XO and... I mean, I, I, you two actually you should probably see, and I'll just put it um, on the whatever like yeah, larger screen is screen, in yeah. the mess hall, yeah, um, and just kind of play the the short version uh, of the. It, it <laughs> pops up, and uh, and everyone, everyone's there. Every, like all hands are on uh, are in there right now. So you have uh, McMichael's, Drax, Jay, and Yuri. Um, yeah, I guess it's it, it's fine then. I, like it's not a secret. We all were here when the reactor was exploding. Yeah. <laughs> every, every, everybody got it. It was it, yeah. it was very much the pinata of the uh, ship for a brief few seconds. <laughs> there was a beating it on yeah. it just to get it out of there. Yeah. Because yeah. um, we did, this was candy we did not want. No. For, forbidden candy. Yeah. Um. But yeah, you uh, it it, it comes up and they all kind of look at it and like you see Drax go. Holy shit. Did anyone not understand that? And if you and then, do, if yeah, you didn't, raise his hand. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and then, Great. Uh, Jay um, does. The long and short is, if we if if we did, th we should have all died, is what uh, is what the doc is saying. Um, the fact that we did not is literally it it, it is according to numbers a, Im impossible, almost. So. This was seems to be something that someone put in our. Some someone kind of someone put it in there intentionally to make it well like Drax McMichael no. or uh Jay and Yuri and Drax were like well we were all, at least one of us was on the ship but we were doing the refill the refuel and everything on Tycho had to be one of their people then they're the only ones we came on yeah. everyone came in with a Tycho jumpsuit they had Tycho IDs uh, there was like five I mean, of them I, I think I hate to say this but that sort of stuff is easy to to fake yeah I, I, he's like Drax. Like I was just thinking about like you know Tycho Brand. There, I mean, you guys trusted them, and you know, it was their people. I, I, it's not. It's not really on any of you or anyone really. I mean, I I look to the captain. I, I do. Do you know anyone who would want to do this to specifically our ship? Uh, I mean. <laughs> You know, Samilla wants to kick my ass right now, but uh, she wouldn't put all of us in danger and do something hinky like this. Also blowing up her, her major asset. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the <laughs> amount of money that it doesn't cost her. So, uh, you know, I can't, uh, you know, unless somebody's trying to, you know, because we've got, you know, our crew, you know, we've built a crew from from all over, right? We're all Because we're, you know, we're all just sharing the same heart here. Um, maybe somebody doesn't like that we all work together and they don't want, you know, the Earthers and the Martians and the Belt to work together. I don't know. Maybe they... I can't think of anybody why people would want to do that to us, though. We haven't made anybody mad except for those people from years ago. Yeah, we have Martians that don't like us and... Yeah, there's actually quite a few people that probably don't yeah, like Yeah, but I don't, I don't know if anybody would really go out of their way to mess with this low like that. I wouldn't yeah. think so. Unless we were just an opportunity of, you know, a ship that was there and they just sent it to us. No, it, 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 from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, John, hmm. it's something that was put into our computers from our ship. It, the like it wasn't even, something not that the could computers, have been like, but directly on or into the, the, the core. The, yeah, the core. So someone that came in, like they would usually have to be someone that had access to like. I mean, they came in refueled us. So you have to have fuel pellets. You can't just the fusion reactor just does go. You have to have fuel pellets to have it run. So they came in restored the fuel pellets. Um, it could have been someone just checking, uh, doing this, like a dock check. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you and Drax used to do, and you would have access to do stuff like that pretty easily. 
Um, there was someone else checking for like contraband, um, you know, like like cont contagions and all that kind of stuff too. So like it could have been almost anyone that had access to the ship for a while. And not to mm -hmm. mention, you guys kind of let a lot of the, the guys here up shore leave. So like they were, there was only one person on the ship at the at, at the least at any one time. So they could have gotten past them. Um, and we know that this is just something that happened recently. It wasn't. It couldn't have been put on earlier. It could have been. I mean, but the, the best... other person we've had near that is Rexor. Rexor, um, and then also you've had you've had stuff refilled at Sirius Station too. So I mean, like, there's been quite a few people, but it happened right after you left Tycho. Yeah. Yeah. So unless there was some sort of delay in the code to keep it from going off, then it was probably someone from Tycho. That's what, I, that's what I got my money on. And I don't think Rexor would mess with this in any way. I found you to be a pretty good resource, so... And uh, you, you figure it out, I mean, you know that he's, like, Secret Service, Martian, like, they don't burn their bridges unless you're burning them. Mm -hmm. And you guys haven't burnt him. Hell, you did everything you wanted you to. <laughs> so, like, he, he loves a good patsy. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll definitely change it when we get to Series Station. We'll always have more than one person on board. So that don't happen again, Cap. <laughs> do we have cameras that um, we can I mean, look back on? That's, that's exactly what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Is if we have, do we have cameras that we could? Oh, there's cameras, yeah. Each other, Absolutely. Other I mean, why, why don't we go? Why don't we? Why don't we pull them up? Replay. And say, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm I'm willing to sit for however many hours we need to to. I wonder who tried to blow up our ship. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it might be just a lot of footage of McMichael's back there, but let's look through it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we each take a a a, a bit of a bit of section of the ship, I mean, it, it might not help. Okay. I mean, there, there's there's cameras and everything like that too, and there's monitoring of who came in and out, no problem. Um, the uh, that you can pull that pretty easily. Uh, I mean, you go back and look at the security footage of base of the airlock and the different parts of the ship. And I mean, it's just these workers from Tycho Station. The ship doesn't have IDs on them, so it doesn't know who they are. Mm. Um, but if you were to like take those images and give them to like Tycho Security, they could probably run the, the names on them. You could probably send them images, and stuff or whatever it is, and they probably could tell you who they were. I definitely want to do that. And we trust Tycho Security. Yeah, that's what uh, I'm wondering. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we could send it straight to uh, to Dingo and, and Co. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ted Wynn, our good Ted friend Wynn. Ted, Ted Wynn. Wynn. Ted Wynn. Ted Wynn's, um, that's our second favorite. NPC. You know the the head of security <laughs> to make sure that it's actually that. There's a little part of Zenny that's like in in their head thinking like, but what if Tingo's actually? What if? What if Ted Wynn's the baddie? But what if it was yeah. Ted Wynn? Yeah, but what that if doesn't it, make sense. <laughs> You definitely wouldn't do anything like that, right, John? <laughs> I'm sorry, you were saying something? What? <laughs> we should definitely take a, a uh, always take a sweep of the, the ship then and start looking for this type of sabotage, yeah? Yeah, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of, a lot of weird things afoot with the crew of the Sinclair today. Yeah. A lot of weird things. Um, so, uh, so Drax kind of is kind of, or Michael's there, right, Captain, so what are we doing? Is we just going to sit there and hang out in the uh, Earth orbit or what? Sorry. Sorry, Donna's got a tech issue. She'll figure it out here in a second. Uh, ah. What do you guys think? Like, he's like, what do you guys, what, what are we thinking here, man? Like, I think the cap wants to go back to Sirius Station, so. Go back to yeah. Sirius first? Cap does want to go to Sirius Station. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> they're all kind Can of everybody hear the captain oh, yeah. now? Yeah. 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 yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. We all get all, yeah, straightened up. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at here, you all right? Yeah, even, even McMichaels gets his back is a little straighter. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't know what's going on, so uh, right, I'll do the best I can. Good. Till you later. Good. You sound great. <laughs> um, so yeah. So you. Uh, and they're like, yeah, I don't mind going back to series for a bit. That's cool. Uh, sounds good to me. You know, I. I don't think anyone on series trying to mess with man. If they try to mess with you, man, they're gonna mess with Dawes. Then mess with Dawes on series station. It's gonna last long. Yeah, I think that you know with Dawes right now. I mean, you know, there's always politics, but for right now, 
you know, we're kind of under his protection, you know, by working for him. So if, but that doesn't mean that there's not somebody on Tyco or somewhere else who isn't trying to get through us to get to Dawes. So we should probably talk to him about it too. I was talking about, he, he would know, he would know. Yep. He would yep. know. Yeah, um, he would, he, he'd probably be able to tell us, you know, what to look out for and who to watch and whatnot. Okay, okay, I'm down, I'm down, yeah. Nope. Well, maybe, uh, maybe it happened to another ship and then this will, you know, us notify him will make him think, as, oh wait, the same thing happened elsewhere. Maybe there's a pattern. Yeah, and maybe figure out if this is just like random or if we were chosen. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, someone doesn't feel right about this. Like someone, like someone, re like really specifically took a shot at the Sinclair. We'll say in a less than honorable way. Um, okay. You guys kind of chill out a little bit. Uh, set a course uh, for series stations. What you want to do? Yeah. For the docks and everything. Okay. Um, do you want to send a message back to Daw saying when you'll arrive? Or his, his office. Okay, he sent a message yeah. back to him, and it basically said like, uh, a few hours later, you get a message saying like, here's a, here's a uh, your docking fees will be paid, uh, and so got too. Uh, please, uh, you arrive. Um, we we uh, please uh, stay aboard the Sinclair. Uh, we have an emissary that would like uh, like you to speak to you before you uh, come aboard Siri State. For, uh, we want to we want to see about a potential uh, furthering the, basically say furthering the relationship between yourself and the governor of Sirius Station. Oh yeah, sure, that sounds good. We'll be greeted. <laughs> yeah. right. I'll, I, I'm gonna ship off, <laughs> send out a little message to Samilla also, and let her know that we're on our way, we're on our way back, and that she and I can sit down and talk. It, yeah, and you get it. Yeah, so at least that off. Um, look, uh, you guys are kind of hanging out here a little bit, uh, in the like, uh, it's gonna be like a few, it's gonna be like about like a few days till you get to Siri Station unless you want to burn really hard. Um, he, uh, no, slow going is good for me. <laughs> um, the, um, as you guys kind of, you guys kind of hanging out here. Uh, what, what's that? Just give me something that people are doing. Like, what are you doing on the ship? Like, what do you want to kind of do while you're hanging out here? Like, uh, anything which you want to follow up on? Do you want to check on? Do you want to put queries out? You guys got like a nice bit of time here. I'll just go practice my shooting. You hang out with Michaels and start shooting a little bit. Yeah, anybody who wants to come can come and practice a little bit with me. I probably stop in uh, a little bit. Um, at some point, I would go to the the captain again. We go to Myrtle, um, and I uh, uh, say, uh, "Hey, Captain, um, what I oh, can you hear me? I can hear you yes. fine. Yeah, you're 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 videos. your videos. So, so weird. <laughs> it is weird. Yeah." Huh. Okay. But he's uh, frozen on my. Am I still frozen? Yeah, you're still frozen. If you want to, if you want to start, start restart your video real quick, that might not be a bad move. I'm not frozen on my side. Uh oh. Everything's broken. Uh oh. Um. But yeah, you, you start shooting. You start heading out, heading out into the. Uh. This is the, the kind of makeshift range. You and Mick Michael are hanging out, just shooting it. And he's just asking, he's like, he's like, hey, so, he's like, so why, man, you used to be a cop, right? You could say that, yeah. More security detail than anything. You bust, you bust a lot of belters? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I busted quite a few. There we go. Don't let me stop your video. It's weird. It's not letting me even stop your video, uh, Bria. Hmm. You want, oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. There. Okay, Get there's back. something weird happening with my internet then because like, oh, well there, I, and then oh. I go. Oh, my, you stopped my video, there so now I can't. Okay. <laughs> now you, I asked you, okay, there it goes. All right. Thank yeah. you. All I needed was a quick, hmm, like a very suspicious <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. gesture. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Like everything just stopped. So anyway, McMichael just shoot with you, and he's like, "All right, I'm so you bust some dolls back. We you work a palace, right? That's what I heard." Yeah, yeah, I was there for a little while. But what, what took you off there? Why you come out here and work with the uh, the captain? Uh, let some people get killed that shouldn't have got killed. Is the best way to say it. Oh I went shit! Out on my own. Yeah, it wasn't intentional, but it was in the best interest of somebody else, and it just didn't work out the way it should have. Oh man, that's that's rough, man. Look, man, I um, I gotta say that, man. You know, I I don't, you know, I, I know I kind of come off a little bit suspicious of you all too often, but um, look, man, I uh, I appreciate you guys getting me off Ganymede, man. That's was, that was good. Hey, you've been a great help on the ship, man. <laughs> he kind of laughs. He's like, I what I can. <laughs> I'm gonna you gotta keep it up and we'll keep you around. Okay. Okay, man. Yeah, yeah. He's all, yeah, you're popping off shots pretty good. Um, pretty good time. He's like, hey, man, I gotta, I'm gonna ask you a question. That was a kind of weird question. I'm gonna ask you about one of the crew members. So that, that, that Zenny, man, she carry it. You ever see her buy her piece? I haven't. Not that I can. Have I seen that? Yes, you have. Oh, yeah, you fired when you guys were on, on IGA. Yeah. That was a oh, yeah, yeah. great shot. Yeah. Well, no, because then also we did the Martian ship thing. Yeah, yeah, I have. It's been a long two weeks. He's like, why don't you ever come shoot with us, man? <laughs> well, I mean, if you want to go find her, you're more than welcome to invite her down here. Yeah, but man, you the XO, you can order her. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that. You want to talk to her. You want to hang out with her. You go yeah, get your ass up there and go talk to her. <laughs> Nah, it's gonna come off weird. I just want to see if she can shoot. She got that piece. I want to see. I want to see her shoot. That's what I'm saying. Hey, we go talk to her. You say. You say go talk to her. Go talk. All right, hold me. Hold me. He's like, That's goes more. Like, he goes with like like one of like the compound goes, and like he goes like ship wide comp. He goes, hey Zanny, can you come down to the? To the can you come down to the cargo hold? Bring your gun. And he's like, that'll probably get her down here, right? <laughs> and you guys all hear this? Like some of you wake up, like wax you. Go, oh, like oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit back and wait to see if she comes barging through the door. What, is, what do you do? I'd like to. You... I'd, I'd like to. Um, is this a, is this around the? Could this be around the same time that I'm going to to, to see Myrtle? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you're cool. on your way to go see Myrtle, and then all of a sudden you get a thing saying, "Bring your gun to the cargo hold." <laughs> oh. <laughs> is there? Is can I just like respond over comms? Yeah, sure. Cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he could have just asked me in person, but okay, I'll be there soon. And I'll go he to the captain first. He, go, he, 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 look, he looks to you why he goes, he says, he says, he's not going to ask her in person. Why the hell we got comms? <laughs> I don't know. Our ship's not huge. <laughs> he got, Wyatt makes a note to himself, restrict McMichael's access to shipwide comms. Yeah, I'm doing that right now on the on my terminal. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, Myrtle, so you're hanging out in ops. Uh, just watch, checking stuff out, you know, checking the ship and everything, going through the numbers. Then he comes up to you. Just with the two of you up there, no problem. Uh, hey, Captain. Um, <laughs> I, um, I, uh, I talked to Wyatt about this, but, uh, uh, I got a, um, I got a, a message from, from my brother, um, and it was there. There wasn't really much to it, but uh, it uh, it it really sounds like he's about. They're doing something, and I don't I don't know what what they're planning on doing. But I I I want to I want to try to get him out, and I don't know where he is. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, I. Uh, why it suggested I come and tell you that I you know I want to try to find him. Um, I just don't know where to, where to start or anything like that. So I just we wanted to, you know, bring it up in case you had ideas or if, if we could just keep an eye out while we're, you know, around. Yeah, um, he, he got up with the Inoros. Isn't that what you said before? Yeah, yeah. That free Navy. <laughs> yeah. There's our free Navy at this point. <laughs> Whatever right. they're styling themselves as, <laughs> but yeah, that, that that's that's rough because that guy, who knows what that guy's up to. Um, but yeah, we can look for him. 
You know, we can, uh, I think we all have a bunch of different contacts around, um, that we can quietly look into some stuff, maybe see if we can figure out where they're going. Heck, I mean, I can talk to Dawes if you want me to, but I don't know if you want me to. Uh, I'd rather not owe something to Dawes, but he does have a lot of, a lot of connections, so, you know, maybe... I don't want to owe him anything for yeah. Like, if he's got, you know, if he's got a, 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 if he can point us somewhere, maybe I don't know, maybe. Well, maybe. let's let's we'll, we'll see what he wants us right now. Okay, and we'll just keep our ears open. Um, go ahead and keep looking, everything you can find, and then you know we've we've got some other contacts that we can you know that we can we can find out see if we can't see more that's not coming directly from us you know maybe just to kind of generally track what he's doing out there and then maybe we get close enough and you'll be able to uh get your brother i mean we're family we're here to support each other right yeah i'm sorry uh, yeah uh he's your family he's our family <laughs> It's it. It's taken. It. I'm not used to. I'm not used to this. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it's okay. I I know I can be a little bit. You know, I can be very cuddly, earthy at times. But you know, that's kind of. I was lucky to have a really good family, and so family is important to me. And when you're on a ship, your your crew is your family. And sometimes it goes even beyond that, you know, like if you're just assigned, like when we were in the Navy, you know, like Wyatt and I, you know, in the Marines, all those kind of things. You, you build a, a family, as they said, but you don't build a heart family. Right. And that's what we're building is a heart family. And so if he's your heart, he's our heart and we'll do whatever we can to help you. I appreciate that. Yeah. And that goes for any of our crew. Even McMichaels. Yeah. Even McMich even McMichaels, damn it. But you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll find him we'll find him. he's got a home here. As long as you got a home, he's got a home. <laughs> Unless you don't want him in our home, then that's another you know that's up to you, but uh but we'll 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 make home for him. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, McMichaels wants me to, I guess, go shoot him. So I'm gonna go do that now. Okay, that sounds lovely. <laughs> Figure there's some kind of shenanigans going on. And I know the XO is down there, so hopefully there won't be too much trouble. Well, if I get why it's okay, I'll shoot him. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> I'll head down okay. to the lads. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> I <right>. do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wax, are you hanging out at uh, the machine shop helping out uh, fix some stuff up with uh, Drax and Yuri uh, right now? Jay's on. Jay's sleeping uh, despite the gunshots coming from the low deck. Uh, <laughs> but um, you and Yuri, Yuri and Drax are hanging out and uh, Drax kind of like uh, you guys like tightening up stuff and putting stuff together and they're kind of using you to like do a little bit of the muscle work and such. Um, they, uh, they go with they um, uh, Wax, uh, Yuri's kind of sitting there, he goes, hey, he goes, hey man, he's all, hey, Wax, man. This is one of, one of the guys, you kind of, you kind of knew him vaguely on Ganymede. He was like a, um, a, a botanist. Um, he's kind of now the ship's cook, if you will. Mm -hmm. And he's kind of like, hey, man, that's all, um, dude, uh, I got to look, man, Wax has been, like, fucking won't shut the hell up about this shit, man, but, like, yo, man, you've been spending some time with Zenny, right? Yeah, yeah. Helping you out. Yeah. Yeah, she's uh, she helping me looking into my past and uh, finds things that uh, I just don't remember. Man, so, uh, dude, Drax won't shut up, man. He think he think you and Zenny a thing, man. Oh man, no, Zenny is uh, she she be she be my friend. She uh, be helping me uh, find out more about me. You could tell Drax, yeah, I'm look. I've been looking for my wife and my kid this whole time. You know, and your wife uh, and kid, man. I only got wife yeah. and kids. I thought you were yeah. the one Ganymede. 
I don't talk about it too much, but uh, yeah, I lost him a, a long Hello, time ago. He's like, oh, we gotta work. He's like, I gotta work with Drax, man. Can you go and tell him, man? Because like, I'm tired of him. Yeah. He thinks we know, and I don't know. And I was like, just ask Wax, but he's scared. He's a little scared, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, not the personal well, man, but you, you big dude. What's his What's his relationship? They're friends. Uh, yeah, I know no, he, he he her coil. Man. They they were you know they used to work on the docks together. But I guess he's had a he probably had a thing for her for a long time. I think he only signed up on this thing to. But uh, try to get try to spend more time with her, but I think he's kind of you know. Yeah, that happens. You gotta be yeah. more open. All right, gotta, I'll go, I'll go talk up. to. Yeah, I'll go talk to Drax and uh, put his mind at ease. And right, he like points across from him. He's right there. Go talk to him right now. And he's kind of like and like Yuri's kind of like like a uh, little bit a little bit of uh, McBichael's wrote off of Yuri. Where he's kind of like, all right, I'm gonna gawk. <laughs> While you go do this awkward action. Yeah, I'll go, uh, you know, I'll kind of go over there and I'll oh. change my body language to be like less buff and, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and less scary to my friend. I go, uh, hey, Copang, uh, you go, Drax. Oh, yeah, man, he's like, he's like, hey, I almost got the next, uh, I got the, the next battery to move for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, no, yeah, I'll get it, no problem, uh. Let me let me help you out. Show me where it where it is. Uh, yeah, man. He he has like a one of the battery packs, and it's like the size of a car battery. It just kind of gets yeah. moved over to another position, but put it in there. He's just kind of like, the batteries and everything. I kind of fake it, like, oh, oh, we give you a help. I'm, I know you're, you know, uh, I'm, I need some he's help. Like, but, he's like, uh, you can't lift them, and I can lift them, no problem. And he kind of he's like helping you out. And it's yeah, like, I'm like, oh, thanks. Yeah, see, you're, okay. you're pretty strong. Yeah, Z you know, Zenny mentioned uh, that uh, you're pretty strong. Uh, you know. That you guys go way way back from before you you all friends yeah he's like oh really I mean, this guy is not like he's not like fuck dude I mean, he's, he's not yeah. like in bad shape but he's like he's not like i'm trying to flatter <laughs> yeah he's not he's not walking through doorway doors sideways and stuff like that he's yeah not, you know he's not like you um, You're right but he's like he's like no nah, man he's like not nah. he's like yeah we, we go we go back man uh say something or what's going on man yeah, that's <laughs> one look less buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, she 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 been good. She been good friend. And yeah, yeah. She mentioned that uh, y'all you know y'all went back. Um, y'all have passed back together, and uh, sh you came on the ship together. Yeah, um, but we we, we but worked she, on series for like a like almost like ten years together. You know, doing dock oh. inspections and checking out the stuff like that. So that's how I learned how to do all this stuff. I never like really went to school for it. I just kind of learned it on the job. You know. Oh but you yeah. You were in a union. You were in a union. You know what it's like. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Program. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I was trying to. I was, you know, I was trying to teach my kid a long time ago a little bit about the uh, these things that I had learned. Got um, a kid? Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been looking for them for a while. My wife too. You got a wife? Yeah, I, yeah. I do. I, I, I got a wife you and guys, a kid, and we got they, separated. I've been looking for them ever since. And uh, actually, your friend Zenny, she'd be helping me. Dig oh. up my past, put my life back together, help me find my wife and my kid. Okay, but like you, like, are you, like, you and your wife, like, it's cool? Love, that, mean, whole, that whole thing? Oh, I, I, I have, I love my wife and I've still been looking for her, so, I mean, right. I, no, I'm, not saying, I'm not trying to question thing. that, man. What I'm saying is, like, look, man, like, well, come on, we, we've all seen it, man. Like, you, you, then you got that door closed in her, in her place. Oh, she been, man, she been helping me. Look, and I like show him scars, and I show him like things. Like, I have. You're I've showing been, your scars. <laughs> I'm showing, showing, I'm showing him, him my scars. Drax what my scars. over the years, man? Chicks big scars. <laughs> I'm showing Dra Drax my scars. I'm like, Thanks. look, like I was in a gulag for a long time before I got on Ganymede, and uh, you know the du them dusters and the Martians, they they were doing things on my, on me, experimenting on my mind, my body. This is why I got so big, and that's why my legs are so small. And uh, yeah, she, she put her mind and been helping me dig up information, and it's just stuff that she's been show, telling me, and I haven't been ready to tell the rest of the crew like I'm telling oh. you now. But oh man, I'm, but I'm telling you now, Drax, because we all crew and we all family, and I just want to clear things oh. up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I look, man. I'm sorry, man. I wasn't trying to insinuate anything. I, it just looked. You understand where I'm coming, where I was coming from on that, man? I'm sorry. He's like, look, you know. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Um, you know, if, hey, you, she's she a nice gal. You go talk to her, man. And uh, nobody be, nobody's stepping on nobody's toes. I don't, I just, I just don't know how to, man. But you, you said you're married. How you do it? 
<laughs> I like Chico Team Rap. Well, I I don't remember. <laughs> I tell you that much, eh? Uh, this Koyo, I, you know, I'm trying to find my wife. I'm trying to put that relationship back. It's been a long time. It hurts when you when you found somebody and and you have a kid and you have a a unit, your own family unit. It was a lot, and it that was taken up taken away from me in my mind, my memories, in the gulag. So I'm doing everything, and this crew and the ship they're helping me find all that. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, okay. That's, that's the most important thing to me. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. And then I just pick up the next battery, yeah, like, like whatever. Probably, like, yeah, I didn't need to. Right, sell, and I start know? and I start flexing again. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I get I get buff again. All right. Yeah. Veins um, pop out. Okay, he's like, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, but, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Like, no, no. You know what? I think they're shooting guns up with uh, Wyatt and McMichaels. You, you got to get some gun practice in. You know, show you a good shot. Yeah. I like hand him up. I said, take this pistol. Go up there. I'll do the rest of this. Don't worry about it. You carry a pistol on the ship? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Uh, no, I'll, like cover a, your, I'll cover your shift. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's, he's got one of these batteries test. It's not hard. Oh yeah. I think you're right. He's like now or never. Right. That's the. That's that's what you're saying. Yeah. Do it while you can. While you while you remember going on. Don't lose those. those only you know. It's only now when you can get it, man. Otherwise, it gets like lost in the memories. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. You never know when you're gonna lose it. Yeah, Copang. So uh, you gotta. Yeah. Like he's like. Thanks, thanks, Waxer, man. This, like, seriously, like this, th this is good. Yeah, I appreciate, it, man. Thanks for the honesty. You have, you now yeah. have a plus one relationship with uh, yeah. Crax. Yeah, Crax is like your boy now. Nice. And a little heart to heart. Open it yeah. Up. <laughs> Zip me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, all right, Zanny, Wyatt, and McMichael's are in the cargo hold. Uh, <laughs> Zanny, you come down and you, you see like like Wyatt and McMichael's doing, and, and McMichael's like, come on, it's all, I'm joining the party. He's any if you come down. I mean, you should. He wants you down here for some reason, really bad. Oh, no, no. It, you know, here's what it is. Then he's like, "Look, man." He's like, "I don't." I, I heard you guys got a little bit of a firefight, but what's what's been kind of weird me out is I've never seen you down here practicing. Yeah. I want to see it. I want to see. Oh. I want to see oh. your, your skill. Okay. I mean, you carry that strap, betting a bad gun, you know. Uh, I'm just, I'm just saying, like you, you know, you came ready. How ready you are? I'm not, I'm not trying to doubt your skill. I just want to see it. Does that make sense? Is that fair? In Zenny's head, she's like, I don't need to show you anything, McMichaels. <laughs> but he's like, yeah, I guess so. And we'll pull out the we'll pull out the pistol and we'll square up. Oh. You, I'm gonna ask you real quick because we haven't really talked about Zenny's gun yet. Is Zenny's gun? Is it like something she holds dear, or is it something that like is it like whatever gun you grab, you're cool with, or what's your deal with it? Um, I think that pistol in particular. Um, I think that one holds some sentimental value to Zenny. Um. I think that it was, it was probably, um, you know what it probably is? It's probably, I think, a gift from her parents mm -hmm. when she decided to go and like work security before, you know, either they got really deep into, you know, extremist stuff or before Zenny stopped talking to them. <laughs> One of those two things happened first. Um, but regardless, I think it's the only possession that she has that's from like her parents. And it's like a little bit, it's a little bit, like it's got a little bit of cosmetic niceness, but it's also, you know, it, it, it looks like it's been really well taken care of, but it's definitely seen some wear. Um, I, my really important question here for this about, about this weapon is this, is, does it have a magazine or is it a revolver? Ooh, what a great question! Ooh, what a great. Now, I'm gonna question. say this real quick for those at those at home that haven't watched Expanse. Like, I love, I love Noah's revolver. And here's why revolvers are amazing in low gravity combat. You don't have to worry about the shells going in. That's yeah. the beauty of it. The hot shells gonna suck. <laughs> 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 it's gonna go. It's gonna go and they're dinking around the room like a, like a game of pong. 
you know. Um, <laughs> I think it. I think it would be a revolver or something similar to it. Something that stands out just a little bit more than just like a, a regular magazine pistol. I'm gonna give that a plus one damage. And a ah! plus one damage. But you only get five shots. A five. It's a five chamber revolver. It cannot rapid fire. Five shots. Good choice, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I love Miller's hand cannon on the on the show. Mm -hmm. that, that thing's that's a dope so cool. looking gun. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so okay, very cool. I'm just All gonna right. sit down while they're getting ready. Okay. So he kinda he kinda sees you pull your, your heat out and he's like oh, 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 oh shit doing the way he's like holy shit I didn't think it'd be that big <laughs> and he's like he's like whoa okay okay he's like no where I'm he's just like, looking to I'm looking at Wyatt and I said I did I did tell Myrtle that if I got your okay I could shoot him. What? <laughs> we'll see. He's like, yeah. He's like, no. He's like, no. He's like, he puts his gun down on the on the on the little <laughs> boxes, and he's like, okay, man. He's like, no, no. He's like, no. I'm serious. He's like, I'm, he's like seriously, Danny, man. I'm I'm heart to heart, man. That thing, that's scary. Uh, that's a, yeah. a little hand cannon. I know. Um, it's mine. I've used it before. <laughs> I'm gonna just turn and I'm gonna square up and I'm just gonna fire before he <laughs> before he even continues talking. Uh okay, I'm gonna let we're gonna do a little metagame here with the belter action. You're not gonna square up and start shooting. Uh because you might want to replace your shots with the plastic rounds that they use for practice. Oh, that's you know, you're right. <laughs> you know <laughs> You know personal. you're right. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then here's what I would like to do. Can you tell me if I need to roll for it or not? I All want right. to unload the chambers, reload okay. them. I want to do it as quickly as possible right. and then Let's shoot. Just do a standard uh, pistol shot. Like just do your standard shooting with it. Yeah, just roll a pistol. Uh, okay. I want to look. I want to look cool because McMichael's is being weird. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. I'm That's gonna, why. Gonna use, I'm gonna use this. We're gonna let you also. We're gonna let you see if you actually hit the target. So your aptitude with the actual weapon, and then yeah. we're also gonna roll communication. I'm gonna go with expression. I feel like you're okay. trying to put on a performance of sorts. Yeah. Does that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just regular, regular old gun time. Yes. <laughs> it's not great. You burn um, I would thousand percent do. Okay. Um, what you got on the drama die? That's what I'm gonna ask off bat. One, which is the one I'm gonna be changing. Yeah, I would. I would push that. <laughs> if you can push that to like a, a six, I'll let you do some fancy gunnery here. Why not? Okay, so you spend you spend twelve fortune. Yes. Turn goes to twenty nine. Yes. Yeah, it's <laughs> fine. Um, yeah. but that makes it um, hello. Uh, ten. Uh, that makes it a sixteen. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you 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 aptly like uh, unload the five rounds, uh, pull out one of your reloaders, boom, pull it in, pop, pop, pop. Uh, all the targets repeatedly. And it's like a series of like, it's kind of a makeshift series of targets that kind of repop up. They're like some sort of like, um, they're not rubber, but it, it's like they're plastic targets or they're, they're like metal targets. They like on. bounce back and then they come back. Yeah, they kind of bounce back thing. and they reset with little servos and stuff like that too. Um, something like McMichael's been working on with just a bunch of crap gear they have. It's like old armor plates from like a suit of armor that's been learned completely. Um, but yeah, it works no problem. You you go ahead and do that. Um, and I'll let you uh, make your performance check, your little communication performance check. So you, Look cool doing it. Okay. Mean, it's gonna give me the feels too, so. <laughs> um, okay. So that would be, uh, 17 Ooh. double fives, Ooh. five on drama. Nice. Not a problem. Yeah, you you go and like uh, I mean you do the speed shoot, you do it all like you, you throw this these shots down no problem, look damn good doing it. Uh, I just want to look as super like nonchalant about the entire thing, like super you know like whatever <laughs> about the whole thing, just to really just be like yeah this is a really this is it. Yeah. So uh, yeah. <laughs> so you uh, you get done, turn around to the two of them. And uh, Michael's is sitting there like, I looks to Wyatt and he like 
slaps Wyatt on the chest. He goes, "You didn't tell me you hired an assassin." <laughs> I'll <laughs> just like kind of look at like look back while I'm reloading the yeah. the revolver with more of the like rubber. With the yeah, the plastic rounds, yeah. yeah. And he's like, "Oh, uh, he's like, holy shit! Where'd you learn to shoot like that, man?" I mean, uh, to be honest, most of it was self-taught, but I mean, I worked with, I worked security on series for a long time before I went private, you know, they teach you a lot of stuff. Ooh. He's just, he's like, nah, he's like, uh, he's like, nah, you, nah, you, mili- you got, uh, why, come on, man, she's got military training, man, that, no one shoots like that, I don't see you shoot like that, man. I can't shoot like that. He's, He's like, you might have like, I don't know, man. There's something up. You a spy? Oh, man. When did you learn to shoot like that, man? No one, no one walk around serious shooting like that. I'm going to turn and point the gun at Mick Michaels and say, you want to find out? Are we cool? I'm stopping it. <laughs> cool, man. It's got hey. the rubber. It's got like the plastic bullets in it, but it's still so like this him. far away from yeah. Mick Michaels. Face. To, to be clear, I'll kill him. So to be clear, uh, yeah, plastic, yeah, yeah. plastic bullets are lethal to human flesh. Like they shatter inside yeah. the body. Yeah, they'll, they'll, yeah. He's like, <laughs> he's like all like. Let me roll a mixture. I'll roll a check. I'll roll self discipline for Mick Michael. Hell yes. Yeah, yeah, he kind of uh, you see him lifting up a, a shaking hand, right? Is any and it, it kind of shaking and he kind of goes, okay, cool. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, smile and put the gun down and just like clap him on the shoulder and say, good. Right, man. Hey, why, man? Yeah, you got it. Hey, hey, why, man? Uh, then you make a hearing test on the way out as you like walk away. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll dump the, I'll dump the uh, plastic bullets and just like scoop up the, yeah, the regular ones yeah, that I had. Yeah. All threes, which is really cool, <laughs> but not a lot. Uh, well, that's still 13. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, you can hear on the way out, you go, you hear my man, hey man, you don't pay her enough, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll dock your pay to pay her more. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> um, all right, so, um, uh, Wyatt, uh, McMichaels, is, you guys are hanging out there, and you see Drax come up through it. He goes, man, he's all, hey, uh, I heard Danny was shooting with you guys, man. Did you, did you finish up or what? Yeah, she is. She probably just passed you. Ten right. seconds. Yeah, McMichael. He's like, he's like, hey, Drax, man, you know her from before, and he's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, I know her. He's like, oh, man, where'd you, where'd you learn to shoot from? Is she an assassin? <laughs> he's all like, he's all like, he's all like, what? No, shoot. What? And he's like, dude, shoot, good shot, man. She's like, she up here spinning thing, hit the target, no problem, man. It's like ridiculous. But she learned to shoot like that. He's like, I, I, I I've never seen her fire before. <laughs> Like, she goes upstairs, man. You you, get, you go catch her. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. He's like, kind of weirded out now that she's like, he's learned that she's o- his, his longtime friend is overtly lethal. Uh, <laughs> it's me. Yeah. Scared him. Scared him away. All right. So, um, uh, you, you're you go up. Where do you want to go, Zane? Were you trying to go to your room? Were you trying to like go to the mess hall? Were you trying to? Uh, I probably go. I I I'll, I'll go to the mess hall. Right. Grab a, kind of mess I'll hall. grab something to eat. Yeah. You, hang, you come up in there, and uh, uh, as you do, Drax comes up. Uh, short term, you're you know you're the the burrito is heating up and, and finishing up or whatever it is, whatever you're, whatever you're into this evening, mm-hmm. and uh, he goes, Hey, I I didn't know you could shoot like they said you could. Like really well down there. Yeah, M- M- Michaels was trying to. He he wanted a show, and so it, I don't know. I don't know what's up with him. A weird guy. He thinks you're an assassin. <laughs> Just gonna drink my coffee. Yeah, he's like, I've known you. We I've known you for like ten years, and like, no, I was like, no, that's that's cool. I didn't know you knew how to do that stuff. That's cool. Yeah, you. I mean, I wore security. I did. I did a lot of. You know, I was like a, a private investigator, right? Yeah, I need a private investigator, but I, you know, that'll mean I I saw you shooting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you gotta learn. You gotta. I mean, you gotta learn some somewhere, right? Oh yeah, that's true. Well, that's cool. I'm well, I'm, I'm glad to have. That's, that's better. That's great. It's a good skill to have. One day, uh, I'll I'll go down there and try to have Mick Michaels teach me. Sorry, let me think about that for a second. I'll have Wyatt teach me a thing or two. Yeah, um, that's probably better for you. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, look, uh, well, we're going back to series and everything, and uh, I was talking to Wax for a little bit, and you know he uh, kind of said some things to me that kind of made me like a little, little uh, existential. Um, uh, Wax can do that to you, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, it's 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 weird. He's like a he's like this like you ever see the diagrams when you were a kid in school and you saw the diagrams like the black holes and it's like it's like that big flat surface and then it just sinks down deep. He's kind of like that. Most of it's kind of shallow, but then you hit this one really deep point and it. Yeah. Oh, I think he's I, I I think he's just forgotten the parts that about him that are deep is the problem. I think that's fair I too. I think he's a pretty deep person. He's got a lot of feelings. He just doesn't remember how to talk about them or know what they are or what they're related to yeah no but i i like having him on board he's been super helpful he's really he always wants to help and i really appreciate that um yeah. well look he says he says himself to me and it and tell me about his kind of situation he kind of opened up a little bit and i know you've been helping him with oh. the situation which is super cool i didn't know what the, all that was going on with him yeah it's a it's a lot i can't imagine yeah. and like you know uh, you know, it's it's rough too coming off Eros and everything. You Knowing people try to do to us, they, and they've done it before, even earlier. So that's, but yeah. Well, I hope you can help him out. That, that's really good. Look, look, but like he, look, man, he. All right. Uh, he's gonna make his check to see if he can do it. He's gonna make his willpower check to see if he can do it. Wait. While while he's kind of talking, I like reach over and I like start <laughs> this <is> the coffee. <laughs> okay. So he's, you, you've seen him like this before, like once or twice, where he's kind of like, like something's going on with him, but you're not really sure what it was. That's why I started the coffee maker okay. for him. I'm just waiting for the coffee to get done. As soon as the coffee's done, if he doesn't say anything, uh, he, I just reach over yeah, and yeah, I just he goes, he goes, grab look, it and I just hand him a cup of coffee. He goes, look, he's like, look, I, then he like, look, I got, I got, I've known you for a long time. I think you're great. I think you're good at what you do. I, I, I really respect you, like, just in terms of your work here, and you've been helping these people out, which is super awesome. Um, but I've always found you, like, just, like, cool. Uh, and, look, I, if you ever want to just go out, like, not as, like, just, like, work buddies, but, like, maybe, like, you know, something, like, happens or be friends like a little something like friends or something like that i don't i, and I don't know what like you're up to with anything but i'm just asking hmm. get my coffee real quick <laughs> <laughs> uh sure okay, okay yeah we get back to series and Wherever you want to go, you let me know. I'll, I'll go do whatever you want to do. It sounds good. Like, look, I came on the Sinclair because of you. I, I wasn't sure, like, I was kind of worried about you. And, uh, why, why were you worried about me? Well, not anymore. After what McMichael's asked me about, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sex. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like, the, I like this rumor that Michael's trying to start. It's pretty funny. I know, and I, I love it so much. I feel like I, I, don't want, I want to do this like half my friends now. Is like I want to start a rumor that they're an assassin uh, in real life. Uh, yeah, you ever see them? Sh yeah, you ever see them shoot? Oh man. Yeah. Um, where do you go for that weekend? All right, he's got a new car. What's that about? Um, but uh, no, he's kind of like he's like okay. He's like, well, I came on the ship because like I, I wanted to make sure you're safe and get worried about you. So I know that. Became a private investigator at a hard time. He's like Star Helix was out, and like I, I've heard stories about what the captain should does for Dawes. Like, come on, we, we've seen some stuff on the ship. What the stuff gets disposed of? You know about when the recycler gets logged. But uh, <laughs> so I, I was, you know, that that was a big step for you, and I, I you know, I, I wasn't gonna say anything because it's you pursue you. I was worried a lot. Wow. Uh, I 
I I was I I didn't I wasn't expecting that. You don't have to be worried about me. I mean, like I didn't tell you a lot of stuff, but I'm I can I'm, I'm pretty good at taking care of myself. I mean, oh. the worst I got the uh, really the worst I got hurt was when I met, met up with with all of these these this crew. <laughs> Uh, and, and I get it too. I get why you're out here with them, and it ain't bad. I mean, it's a job, but also like, look, man, we had that we had that run in a few weeks when we were out getting that ship, uh, and getting shot at. That was a hell of a thing, and that was the time I was worried. Look, I mean, that reactor core thing. Holy hell! Did you read the Valentine's notes? Yeah, he sent them to me. Exactly. Like, but like, I was looking at those and those numbers. I mean, like. If, look, if we saw that kind of stuff on Sirius Station, we would have thrown that thing out into space as quick as possible. That's, like, terrifying. Um, there's a lot of danger out here, and, like... Do you think there's not any danger back at Sirius? Oh, God, yes, there's danger. But, like, there we're on a giant rock, and there's... Yeah, giant rocks can still explode. It's true. There was that bombing in that square last year on series, but yeah, yeah um, there was. And there's a lot of people, even the people in charge. They can do things, and no one will ever know. Is that is it better or worse than just being you know blasted somewhere in space? I guess what I'm no getting... one sees you die in space. No one can see you die in series. Where do you want it? Where? What? Which one is better for you? Well, I I, I actually know which one's better. Uh, and I, I'd rather be out here with you die than somewhere else. So that's it. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Look, he's, I'm, that's too poor. That's too much. I'm sorry. Like, no, I, you know. it's, it's okay. No, it's okay. No, he's, he's like, it's, it's... Let's, let's go have a nice time. We'll, we'll get in the series and we'll go out to one of those places we always wanted to go to or or a bit or whatever. Uh, we can go back to like one of the Little swap shops down, uh, up up in the center. You know that'd be kind of fun. Order was good. Um. Yeah, we can. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll figure out when we get there. Yeah. You want to hear something funny? Sure. I thought I thought you were dating Waxer. <laughs> I, that's why I didn't say anything earlier. <laughs> that is funny. That is uh, great guy. I won't. Don't get me wrong. Great guy. Uh, um, is also married though, for one. And yeah, but like that, so. I don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't like. I I kind of tried to ask him about his deal, but he didn't really understand what I was saying. But some people are yelling. Everybody. I guess he's. That's cool. If he's, that's what he's. In. Yeah. No, I'm not encroaching on that. That's. <laughs> no. like, all right. I just saw that the other day. I came by your guys' quarter. I came by your quarters, and I heard you guys inside there. That's, that's cool. Yeah, it's because the secret stuff, and he shared it with you, so that's good. But it was his to share. No, I, I get that's it. Why? I get it, man. Like, why didn't you just ask? Like kind of like, like kind of a wiener. I mean, <laughs> kind of a wuss. Like like I was. I don't. He like I was. I was scared. I, I was scared of like you saying like Tommy to like, jump out of airlock or something. I didn't want to. I don't want to. I'd rather just. Not no, they'd be told no, but it's not that bad. It's fine. It wasn't that bad, and and, and we'll we'll take a shot at it. And I, I I guess that's what's cool. Is like we thought, and if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Just it. If the space, if being in space is what makes you nervous, though, I'm not. I, there's things I need to do that do require me going to space. So if you, if this goes. If you wish to continue following me, know that it will take you off of series. Oh, probably. He's like, he's kind of looks around real quick and he's like, look, he's like, there's one thing I'm not going to do is be on series and have a relationship with someone on the ship. I've seen how it's worked for the captain. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, <laughs> just don't own a business and also don't own a ship. <laughs> That's two things. True, too. This is there's a there's a two ways to make it but easier. I'm no, that, that he kind of he's like the complex the, the complexity of that situation. Yeah, it seems is a beyond my comprehension. Yeah. 
from uh, uh, listen, <laughs> I it, it's not a cowardly thing to share what you're feeling. So, I'm glad you did. You know, and I and we'll we'll give it a shot. You know, we'll do, we'll try. You know. Yeah, got it. Uh, sounds sounds good. I, I appreciate it. The like little reheater dings. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a <laughs> ding going off for a few times. Yeah. Um, he goes, okay, okay. Well, I, look, I gotta get back to my shift downstairs. Uh, Hulk Waxer and uh, Yuri finish everything up. But uh, yeah, we'll 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 talk when he's back on series. Hopefully things go pretty easy down there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh. All right. Get around. He's trying to be cool. It's not very cool. Um, <laughs> all right. So. I eat my my strange um, overwhelming emotion in this moment. I'm confused. <laughs> I, don't, I have a lot to think about while eating this burrito. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. So he uh, yeah he kind of buggers off and uh, goes about his business. Uh, Waxer, you're down there doing the batteries with Yuri, and you're, Yuri's like, man, did you tell her to go? What'd you tell him, man? Like, what'd you know? He's kind of like. You guys, I'm kind like, of shooting a little bit here. I'm like, you heard it, you saw it. I just told him what I just told him what it is, man. Nothing, and that uh, he should go up there, and if he feels that way, go tell her. You know. And dude, you should have like a podcast, man. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, yeah, but he kind of like he's kind of like he's kind of takes it there, and and he, but um, uh, Rax comes down, and he's like kind of happy. He's got a little bit of spring of step, and he goes, "Wow, well, that worked, man." Hey, I'm glad to hear that. Hey, hey like, I got a date. I... That's it. like I told her everything. You got a date? And, where you yeah. Where you going? Where you gonna take her? I don't know, man. But we go down. We go down to the the upper levels, and we ha- we have a nice. Uh, we got some nice like like new tattoo. Yeah. Like, I don't know what to do, man. You know, she liked arm wrestling. I was I was arm wrestling this one time. What? She seemed real. She was seemed she was really into that. Maybe you go do that. You know, I don't I don't know. Just what? I, you know. <laughs> we to arm wrestle her. No, no. T- uh, go, go to this one place. I give him the name of the place. Arm wrestle this guy. Yeah, <laughs> I, we did this earlier. We had a really good time, and she, you know, she was she was cheering it on. Yeah, it'll pressure with your strength. <laughs> it's like... Okay. Yeah. Try um... it out. See what happens. How did the shooting go? Yeah. Oh, I know. I shot my shot. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. She. Me. You guys got in that that fire fight, man. Uh, oh yeah. How? Like Michael's asked me if she's an assassin. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. She good shot, man. Yeah, she. Oh, yeah. She know how to use a gun. I mean, she could be. She's. She's not an assassin though. She's she was an inspector, a security worker for the docks, and then did private security. Like. Hmm. I never heard yeah. about her getting a firefight down at, on series, so I don't. Oh yeah, yeah. She, um, I mean, I was there. We were. She was shooting drones and killing things. I mean, she she good security. Maybe maybe she do. Uh, I don't know. She got a night job as an assassin. You know. Hey, more power to her. Yeah. <laughs> <I> like elbow. <laughs> <you know? laughs> right. <laughs> um, that makes that makes for a cool gal. Yeah. I'm, like trying to like cheer that, but oh, you know. I mean, I, I, I guess it is intriguing, but yeah. I don't think she's an assassin. But all right, I mean, look, look, hey, look, all I gotta say is, you get you, you get back to Siri, man. I, I gotta take you out for a round of drinks. Hey, okay, hey, I, I would love that. Right, Sound right. good. And I want to hear. All, I want to hear about how, how it all went. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He comes in for a hug. Do you gonna let him hug you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he's like, yeah, thanks, just dude. one arm. I just use oh. arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just cut your arm, kind of just consumes him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, so he's like, cool, cool. Um, oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad the shit politics. Everybody's running smooth. It's good. Myrtle, <laughs> uh, you know, you're you're coming back in the series. You got another. You got like less, less than a day till you get back. You get a nice little message from the missus. Uh, okay. <laughs> first thing opens up. The the first thing in it is a spreadsheet. Ooh. And it's a it's a nice little 
Uh, make a business check. Oh right. shit. Uh, I do, I do. Why so, why so nervous? <laughs> yeah, spreadsheets are just like step one of foreplay, don't you know? Uh, uh, let's see, five, <laughs> ten, fourteen, just eighteen. All right. Uh, yeah, it's like a burn down rate. <laughs> Basically, saying when you're when you're you're. Or your little uh, store uh, is going to go under. Uh, it's showing that, like, with the current rates and even with the income you brought in, how it's not going to, like, last. Um, there was, like, a video file after it with uh, Samella, and it's basically her going either... Look, I, I, ran, I run the numbers every which way. It's either sell the ship, keep the store, or... Can't, I can't do this anymore, Myrtle. I can't. And you go flying off. Can't deal with it. Um, we're gonna have to have a very serious conversation when we get back. And uh, please, um, please don't respond to this. Just, just, just come home. Talk, okay? Um, All right. Um, I'm gonna actually see what Wyatt's up to. I just gone to my uh, room and just hang out there. All right. I'm just gonna ping. Hey, Wyatt, do you mind if I drop by for a minute? Yeah, door's always open. Okay. I'll head on down there. Tap, tap. <laughs> I'll go answer the door. <laughs> you're you're tapping, you don't have to knock. <laughs> yeah, so, well, I'm trying to res- be respectful of everybody's space, you know? Um, so, I wanted to have a talk with you while before we actually get to series. And um, so we're in a little bit of a bind here. Um, As you can tell from the frantic messaging that I've been getting from series, things aren't going so well for the shop. And, you know, with us taking all the damage and the repairs, that was pretty rough. So even though that we've got money coming in, like from this last job and from some future jobs, uh, it's still, the the store is not going great. So I had an idea that I wanted to kind of run by you to see what you thought. Um, Is that um, either that if we close the shop, and then it would be cool if she wanted to to come with us, you know, and just be equal partners in this. If she wants to keep the store going, is that we buy out her share of the store, of the ship. Which would you prefer? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just, the, the dream of the store was great. You know, years ago when we kind of set up a nice little shop, but we also weren't expecting war and crazy things happening, you know, in the universe. So uh, I don't know if we can keep it going no matter how good that we were doing as a crew and making money here because it's just... You know, we're not selling the kind of stuff that we needed to sell, I guess. Um, It's hard to get things. I don't know. So that's what I've got to deal with when we get to series. Have you thought about maybe talking to her about switching into more humanitarian role for people that need help? Supplying stuff that way? Yeah, I guess the hard part is about that. That kind of work doesn't make money. And enough, you know, it, it would keep us going and we'd be doing the right thing, but it's not going to be enough to fund our store. Whatever you decide, I support your decision 100%. Okay. So, well, I, I didn't want to make a make a decision without running it by you first. I mean, I still got to talk to Zenny Waxer and let everybody know because everybody has a say. Um, kind of, although it's really kind of been you and me since the start, but um, I didn't want to do it without talking to you first before I have to go deal with this. <laughs> I do not envy you a bit. Um, yeah, whatever you decide, Myrtle. Follow you. Yeah, I, I love my wife and I love it out here and I love what we're doing. 
just being able to, you know, seeing what happened on Ganymede and being there and seeing how much people need us is, um, you know, it's like, what else can we do? You know, it, it, you know, my dream of having specialty goods that everyone can afford, it's just not a thing right now because we got people who are dying, people who don't have a home, no jobs, no food, no water. So, you know, doing the best we can. I think, and this is just my opinion, so take yeah. it as you will, but I think you should try to convince her to come with us. There's always a job here. It's true. That's true. She's a smart lady. So I'm, I'm hoping that that's what she would like to do. And then if we sell the business, that's also going to give us some more to work with on stocking, you know, being stocked up ourselves. You know, and getting whatever kind of upgrades we need and making ourselves more comfortable and, you know, just fill up our storage with, you know, just stuff that we need and that we can also help people with. Maybe travel. She comes with us and sells stuff from the ship. Traveling Maybe. market. Yeah. It could be a traveling Maybe. marketplace. I don't know, Myrtle. It's, uh, it's totally up to you, but I got your right. back. Well, I appreciate your support, man. I'll salute. As we do two awkwardy salutes from <laughs> two different <laughs> planets. Yeah, we're professionals. Um, all right. That's a great idea. I like it. Yeah. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go back and and just kind of listen to the message over again. You know, I won't reply because she said just just come home. So. Yeah, you kind of got that, that that idea that she's like tired of talking through like good recordings. Yeah. It's like, I mean, you could actually probably call her in real time right now, but she wants to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Guys, got another few hours so the ship gets back in uh, to series. You guys have a priority docking thing. It looks like Dawes hooked you up. Anything you guys want to take care of before or say to anyone or whatever it is? I'm, I'm going to help Drax uh, freshen up for his date. Oh, you're, yeah. going give him, you're going to give him grooming tips? Yeah, tests? I'm going to do like a makeover to help him with his makeover, you know? <laughs> nice. Color his teeth. He is very, he is very hesitant taking grooming advice from Waxar. <laughs> uh, I just like uh, you know yeah, when I used to go uh, years ago with me and Priscilla go on dates when we first met that's your wife's name Priscilla been, Priscilla yeah and uh, I, you know I had colored hair I was just I just tell them all bits of things I you know we got ready and you know I colored my teeth a special way I, I think Danny would rather if I show up as advertised yeah or you could show up as advertised but a little bit better yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me think about it. Okay. Uh, like a few tips. We'll go from there. I don't know about the whole makeover thing. I, I don't right. Know. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe too much. Yeah. I don't. Well, wanna, you know. I don't, don't want to like if she, let me like if she showed up with colored teeth. Too much. Too strong. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm trying hard. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to. Be yourself. Be yourself. That's yeah. That. Yeah. I think. I think that's been my problem all the whole time. Is I just wasn't bored and honest. I kind of kept it. In. That's what I want to do. This is good. Yeah. All right, then. Yeah. Well. Hey. It, when it gets closer, you got any uh, concerns or you want any uh, advice? Uh, let wax more. No, because uh, this is this is all helping my memories coming back. About okay. me and my own wife, yeah. So this yeah. is yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, we can do that. Cool. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah. Um, anyone else got any <laughs> advice for Drax? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, you're welcome to. Uh, he's not. He's not advertising it. Like he's not trying to. Yeah. Although, um, he's he's mostly concerned that McMichael's knows. He doesn't want McMichael's to know. Yeah. Um, and he kind of tells you and I don't uh, want McMichaels to know either. Yeah, 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 nobody, nobody wants. Nobody wants. <laughs> then he'll be getting advice from McMichaels, and McMichaels will tell him like all this kind of weird shit. Yeah, just get uh, high, just get really high. high. Dude, you gotta roast, you gotta roast this bone before you go on the date, man. But yeah, he he's all like, yeah, he's like, okay, he's just, but he, he he seems not like the most confident, but he's like, I I think I'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. Just take it easy, be myself, and I'll be cool. 
that was, I think that was my problem for so long. It wasn't my, I wasn't like, I was trying to be, I was letting too many say. Um, Wyatt, Myrtle, Zenny, anything? Feel pretty good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let me phrase that. Yeah. As much as you can right now. Yeah. Cap um, captain seems a little uptight. I like. Captain does have a little, there's a little bit of edge to the captain, a little bit. Yeah. Bit edge, but uh, that's why the XO to run interference. Mm -hmm. um, you 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 come up to series, dock no problem. Docking uh, procedure goes easy. The um, as you uh, are docking, um, the uh, it's kind of doing this weird thing. Uh, Zenny, you've seen this kind of procedure before, having worked with Dr. Drax to see that he's kind of, kind of mentioned, he actually comes to talk to you, he's like, they're doing this thing. Basically what it is is that they're not letting the ship open up, like the, your airlock is like sealed until a specific person gives the authorization. Yeah. Um, and it's not like a quarantine thing, it's more of like a diplomatic kind of thing. It's how it's kind of feeling. Um, and, uh, you guys get like the the, the ding uh, that like it's ready to go. There's like someone basically at the door that the doorbell's rung or something like that. Does anyone want to like check the cam or? I'll check the camera, see, who, see what okay. we got. You go and check the camera and uh, we'll pick it up next week. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. That was, uh, who is it? Who is it? That was deep. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you guys asked me not to ruin it. So. No, no, that's true. Good. That's true. Are, 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 are oh my god, I'm so the excited. People, the people voted and said don't not to reveal, so we're not revealing. So I'm right. doing. I'm listening to fans. I'm so fans. scared. Uh, I know. Um, I'm like, uh, is it gonna be my wife? No, <laughs> I, I don't think your wife has like the diplomatic situation thing. Oh. <laughs> I'm still worried. Um, Maybe it's McMichael. She might be excellent. standing by, behind right. the diplomatic person. <laughs> yeah. And we will have uh, churn 30 hit as well. Um, oh. we'll next session. So, we had to uh, run right into it, eh? Yeah, that's right. uh, everybody, uh, thank you for watching. Let me go ahead and post the giveaway again. The word of the night is Stonehaven. Uh, Stonehaven Miniatures has been kind enough to provide us some cool, uh, dice. And a miniature. Yes, don't miniatures. even. Uh, we're gonna be having more of their stuff. I got a lot more to show off. Uh, they sent us some. I sent the crew kind of pictures of stuff. That's pretty nice stuff, actually. They, they're not. Yeah. I I really appreciate their faith in whatever this is. Uh, <laughs> neat. Oh yeah, you got a miniature. I want I want some of their dice. Here's oh. the fun dice. So, I, I or will, like their dice trays and stuff. They did send me a, one of the magnetic dice trays, and it's it's pretty. It's uh, very magnetic. Uh, uh, I, I mean, want. And if you if you stick around, <laughs> we might give it out. Uh, but we'll give it out. So it's a bad mag magnet joke. Uh, science, uh -huh. so please please go ahead and uh, jump into that. Um, you can support us on Patreon. Uh, that's a great way to support us. Uh, we have bonus episodes, which we aired over the marathon, and I find people watch the bonus episodes, uh, which is cool. And it was kind of fun. I actually watched the Zeddy one. That was the one I, get, I had the whole time for. It, so it's kind of fun to go back and uh, get the early feels. Uh, for the character. I had no idea what I'm doing, and I still don't know what I'm doing. So it's I, all. But you do it so well. What are we doing? I don't know. What are we doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Playing games. <laughs> what are dice? Um, and then uh, next week is, our, is the one year anniversary of Abrax's Precipice. Uh, we're gonna have a big giveaway. Uh, we're giving away a huge VIP, giveaway. Huge giveaway. We got, we're gonna have three huge. of them. We're actually, uh, someone's not gonna take it all home. But we're gonna uh, give away of because uh, it would be too much. Yeah. Um, uh, we're gonna give away uh, some Stonehaven stuff. Uh, we got more stuff from them, so we're gonna. I'm still figuring out what we're gonna give away from them, but it'll be quite a bit. I'll say it'll be it'll be this plus something. Um, and then we have uh, I put in a hundred dollar gift certificate to Calder and Tower, so you can get some cool shirts. You can get this music, whatever's cool from uh, from there. It's some Abrax Pessimist dice. You can buy a lot of Abrax Pessimist dice. That wow. um, a lot of dice. And, uh, but uh, Donna has been very generous to throw in a VIP package to OrcaCon, which gives you like a ton of stuff. And I believe you get like a swag and-, and Swag, t-shirt, special Listen, dice, all kinds of stuff. Y'all are, y'all are <laughs> um, lying to yourself if you, if you don't think I'm not entering that giveaway myself <laughs> because I want to go and be a VIP so bad. <laughs> To, like also be there so that I'm not the only one who wins everything. 
So I'll be sure to post more about that and everything too. But for tonight, we have some entrance to uh, here on the giveaways. I'm gonna go ahead and yes, roll yes, it, and yes. someone's gonna take Get home a, a dragon, a uh, half dragon min, uh, wizard miniature. And then these are actually called the wizard dice. I found out. I paired them together. That's I didn't know they were called the wizard dice. Hey. So, uh, nice. And once again, dice are like hand soaps. No matter how good they look, do not eat them. All right. <laughs> Unless. You get the edible ones. That's That's true. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's the ones that are made out of yeah, like dummies. Yeah. All right, or chocolate, chocolate ones too. Roll yes. And our winner tonight is Crazy Grouse. Crazy Grouse. Hey. Crazy Grouse. Who I, I think is asleep. Oh, okay, yeah, I think, I think they might. I think they're just in the chat hanging out. But I will contact you and get your information and send you this cool little uh, set of Stonehaven stuff. And uh, but thank you for everybody for watching tonight. Uh, we yeah. had fun. Look forward to the next week's episode. It's gonna be a full blast uh, with our surprise guest. They don't even know who it is. They have no, no clue. No, no idea. idea. When no are you idea. announcing that? Are you announcing it like at the show next week? Come into the just Zoom, come... and that's how you learn. I'm <laughs> so scared. Do people get to guess? <laughs> Do they get to uh, guess? Multiple, like a. Hey, imagine. I have no idea, and the only things that I can picture are like bananas. <laughs> I, They're I, so I, out there. I, yeah, I, I'm. It's it. It will be cool. I'm very say, excited. It will be cool. So that's all I'm gonna say. Oh. I, I won't say more. I'm gonna get off the air before so anyone like tries like like gourd me into it, <laughs> um, provoke me into. It. I don't. I bet you don't even know who it is, John. You probably don't have anyone you're gonna bring on. You don't know. Come on. Oh, you I know you enough to this? know that you do. So. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching uh, Abrax Precipice. We will see you next week. See you around Twitter uh, and everything, too. Uh, take care, everyone. Let me get a bumper. <laughs>